Hey everyone, it's so fun to see you today. August is my favorite month. Do you know why? Because my birthday is in August. I love birthdays because it makes me so happy when my friends wish me happy birthday. Think about your last birthday. Did your friends wish you a happy birthday? Did they sing to you? Did they bring you presents? Did you know that God gave you those friends? God wants you to be so happy, and he created us to have good friends. And speaking of friends, our Bible verse for August is all about being friends in Christ. Some of my best friends in the world are here with me today to teach it to you. Can you say hi to my friend Miss Angela and my friend Miss Kim? They're coming to go over the Bible verse with you right now. Are you ready? Everybody stand up. All right, remember, these are God's words for us. These are from the Bible, so we know they are true and right. Do you remember our verse? Let's say it together. We are many, but in Christ we are all one body. Romans 12, 5. All right, let's put our motions with the words. We, let's make a circle with our hands. We are many. Get your fingers out. We are many people, but in Christ, point up, we are all one body. Romans 12, 5. Great job. Let's keep trying. Let's do it again. We are many, but in Christ, we are all one body. Romans 12, 5. Let's do it one more time. We are many, but in Christ, we are all one body. Romans 12, 5. Great job, guys. That was so good. I think it's so cool how God made us all. We look different, but together we're one, and we are good friends. God is so smart, and he is so good to us. Now, don't sit down yet. It's time for our song. Do you remember the August song? It's such a fun one. And you guessed it, some more of my very best friends are here to sing it with you. Say hi to Miss Kylie and Miss Marlo as they lead you in our song, Jesus is a Good Good Friend. Are you ready? Good, good friend, he's a good, good friend to me. 
gosh, guys, I love that song. But do you know what makes it even better? Singing it with all of you. You are such good friends. Let's take a minute and tell God thank you for everything he's done for us, especially for our friends. I'm saying a special thank you to God today for friends like you. Let me see your ready fingers. Ready? One, two, three. God our Father, God our Father, we thank you, we thank you for our many blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Great job, guys. Now, it's time to sit down. So I want everybody to reach up high and touch the sky. Reach down low and touch those toes. Everybody spin around and everybody sit down. Good job. This month, we're learning that God made us to have friends. He wants us to be together. Today, Miss Pam is here to teach us a really important lesson. It is about the very best friend that you will ever have. Do you know who that is? Are you ready to find out? Okay, turn on your listening ears and say hi to one of my very best friends, Miss Pam. Hi, Miss Pam. Hi, friends. I am so glad to be back with you again. I've really missed you. Well, today, we are going to learn about friends. I have a story that you're going to really enjoy of someone who wants to be your very best friend forever. And I even brought a couple of people with me today, and they're going to help me do something that you're going to be involved in. So, to put your listening ears on, just tune them up really high. And the other thing is that you're going to have to close your eyes. We're going to turn around, Miss Marlo, Mr. Kyle, and me, and we're going to turn around, and one of us is going to say something, and you're going to have to guess who it is. I'm going to be teacher number one, Mr. Kyle is teacher number two, Miss Marlo is teacher number three. So, is everybody ready? I want your eyes to be closed. Everybody close your eyes right now. And we're going to turn around and one of us is going to say something. Jesus is the Son of God. Very good. I'll bet all of you were listening really well. Okay. If you picked, if you vote for teacher number one, you can raise your hand. If you vote for teacher number two, raise your hand. And if you vote for teacher number three, raise your hand. Okay, if you pick teacher number two, you got it. Mr. Kyle, Jesus is the Son of God. And is that true? It is, isn't it? Well, we're going to learn a lot today about friends. And we're going to say bye to Miss Marlo and Mr. Kyle. Thank you. Every week, we have a story in large group. And where do we get that story? That's right. We get it from the Bible. And everything in the Bible is true. Put a T for true. And everything in the Bible is right. There's nothing in here that you can't believe. Jesus put everything in here you needed to know. And that's why we want to take it every week and find out what God's Word says to us. Jesus was in the temple. And he was walking around and he saw a bunch of, of people coming toward him. Some of the, people, the Jewish people in the temple wanted to know and ask him, why have you not told us that, God, that you're the Christ, that you were sent by God. He said, I've told you already. You just didn't believe me. He said, I went around doing all of the miracles that God sh showed me, and all of the miracles were everywhere, and you could look and you could see that I was the Christ that that God had sent me. I told you plainly, 
I am God's son. I'm the one that God chose and sent into the world. And I even looked around and, and you said, if you didn't believe that I was the Christ, it's because you're not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice and they know them and they follow me. They will live forever with me. That's what sheep are like. If they hear the shepherd's voice, they come to him and they follow him. They always know his voice. Well, that's the way Christ is for us. We should know his voice, know him, know that he's talking to us. And he said, I am God's son. I'm the one that God chose and sent into the world. The Jewish men then tried to, to uh, take Jesus, but he escaped. And one of the things that they tried to do, because they just, just didn't like what he had said to them, they wanted to pick up stones and throw them at him. Can you imagine? But Jesus got away. He got away from the Jewish men who tried to get him. He went back to the Jordan River where he'd come from with his friends, and some of the people followed him. They wanted to hear what he had to say, and when he was talking, they realized that everything John had told them about him, that he was coming, was really true. They knew that he was the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus will be calling you someday. And if you are a member of God's family, if you choose to ask Jesus to come into your life, you will be his. He wants you to follow him. He loves you. He made you. And he wants to be your friend forever. He's the one who tells you to be friendly, to say kind words, to obey, to be really loving and kind because that's what Jesus is, isn't it? Okay, let's pray. I'd like to see some ready fingers like this. This and close your eyes. God, we thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend. Jesus, thank you for showing us how wonderful you are and that you are God's son. Thank you for saving us from our sins. Thank you that we can follow you and can recognize your voice. Help us to work together with all of our friends to tell them about you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Now, we have a few questions. Let's see how good listeners you were, if you can answer these. The Jewish man wanted to know if Jesus was the Christ, the Son of God. Is he, after you heard this? Yes, you got that right. Did Jesus say that his sheep know his voice? Yes. You got that right also. Do the sheep follow him? Yes, they do. You are doing great. Three of them are already correct. Everything Jesus did was to prove that he was the son of God. Is that correct? Yes, it is, isn't it? And who wants to be our friend forever? That's right, Jesus or oh God. Well, I am really, really glad I got to come back and see you. Maybe in a few months, we'll all be back together again at Sea Life, and we can just enjoy each other just as Jesus wants us to. Bye, friends. <laughs> Miss Pam, thank you so much for that lesson today. It makes me so happy that God wants to be my very best friend, and he wants to be your very best friend, too. Does that make you happy? It should. Okay, our time is up for today, but we'll see you right back here next week. Remember, you can visit sealifesea.com forward slash parents and click on the link for activities and a fun craft to go along with our lesson today. We hope that all of you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.